Hello guys, I am Devindu and it is the first video of my YouTube channel and I am going to start a brand new playlist on React.js where I will teach each and everything that is on React.js and we will build us some cool projects. This playlist will be completely beginner friendly. So if you are interested to learn React.js then follow with me. Let's start it. So you may hear about that React is the most popular library for building interactive user interfaces and it is built by Facebook which is currently known as Meta. Yes, it is true that React is the most popular library for building user interfaces. But before learning more about React.js, let's talk about why actually Facebook built this React.js and what was the purpose for building this awesome library. So let's talk about history of react so a few years back if you use facebook then you can remember facebook only had like buttons but now it is has lots of reactions and lots of new features were edited throughout the years so it was very difficult for facebook to maintain their code and publish new updates and for a while facebook was searching an efficient way to handle this problem so Jordan Wacky built a prototype that makes the process more efficient and it marks as the birth of react You can also check out this video and it is the first ever conference held by react and lots of new features and lots of History of react was discussed in this video and this is the URL you can check out for I will put it in the description of the video as the most popular library for building user interfaces some most popular websites uses react.js such as facebook instagram netflix twitter reddit and paper you can see that this website and these apps are lots of heavier and the netflix the largest ott platform also uses react so react is a very powerful library and you can see from the list that it has more capability than anyone else and not only this website thousands of thousands of websites are now building in react and the website which was building in another library and another framework was also shifted in react.js also other popular frameworks or libraries are like angular which is made by google and the view which is an open source framework is also most popular among the world but from a survey of stack overflow in 2021 there's 40.14% people voted react as the most popular framework and they like working in react and you can see 22.96% in angular and 18.97% in view so you can see that the react is now the most popular library for building user interfaces and i will like to add one point that react is not a framework it is a library but angular and vue.js those are the actual frameworks i will discuss with why react is called library not a framework later on this video but so let's talk about why react is so popular so some key features of react are it is easy to learn and use creating dynamic web application become easier the reusable components of react makes the react so strong and so powerful we will discuss this reusable component and creating dynamic web application means what is the actual meaning of those things later on this course don't worry and the performance enhancement with the help of virtual dom please note it down guys virtual dom react is the only library and only framework no other framework or library has virtual dom only react has virtual dom and it makes react so 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 first than any other framework or library we will discuss virtual dom later in this course but please remember react uses virtual dom and other thing is that react is known to be seo friendly so what is seo you can google it so 
actually SEO means that if you search something in the Google there you can see uh, the list of links that came there so if some website has higher SEO value then the website will be listed top part than higher than any other website which is lower SEO value and the huge support from NPM so react has a huge support from npm and it's make react so powerful any features you wanted to add just search for npm package or that features you can get that so we will use that don't worry npm stand for node package manager so i will discuss everything that virtual dom npm reusable component dynamic web applications everything throughout this course so before starting react you need some prerequisites so those are very minimum like basic formalities with html and css these are actually required and html is very easy and css is also very easy so it will not take you so much time so if you don't know html and css please learn those things you can learn those html and css for just one or two days and basic knowledge of javascript and programming will help you throughout the series and basic understanding of dom and formally familiarity of esc syntax are very use will be very useful for you and i will discuss esc syntax and dom and javascript or html and some kind of css also but if you know this thing previously then it will be very helpful for you to understand it a lot more faster and the last thing that needed that installing node.js and npm globally in your desktop or laptop for the next video and this is it for this video and we will install node.js in the next video of my series so thank you guys and please subscribe to my channel bye bye